Welcome, Welcome to, to our YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> it was so cringe. You say it, but you go first. Welcome to our YouTube. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We're so excited about this because we've been saying we're going to do this for ages, and here we are. Yeah. I don't think we've really opened up about Love Island, spoken about it too much. I feel, feel like we've been so busy and now mm. it's like, okay, we can chit chat now. Also, if you are new here, make sure you do check out our Instagram pages. So mine is Jessie Renee Winter, Farmer Will, and our TikToks as well, which is the same. <laughs> Let's backtrack it right to the start. It is, why did you go on Love Island? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, this one's so random for me because obviously I was a farmer like 24 7 on the farm and it was just it's such a random mix with a farmer going on to love island like i never thought i would have gone on it never watched the show so yeah. it was like so random and i got approached by love island saying oh do an interview get on the show sort of thing so my one is very different as well obviously i did love island australia way back when i was loser <laughs> we don't like that yeah, all of the girl, guys just he coupled up with that losers <laughs> so i did love island australia back in 2019 and do you know what like you go on love island once you never really get think that's gonna happen again let alone in a different country but last year to the represent UK. <laughs> i was actually on holiday in bali and then one of my producers let me know that he put my details forward to the uk casting team i was like okay random didn't think anything would come of it wasn't fast i was having the time of my life in bali and then come a few months had a phone call and here we are the process that i had to go through was like it was so easy i didn't even think i was going to get on the show mm -hmm. i did one zoom met the producers and didn't hear anything I, obviously i did my health in... how long did you take to hear something from them i think i did the zoom and met the producers like in a few minutes later what's the month before october september september really i think i i think i did it then and then it was like oh met the producers obviously did my psych and health and everything like that and they were like oh if you if you're in we'll let you know at the end of november see that's so weird i didn't hear anything till like october 30th oh wow and so you then, were well late so i think i was casted <laughs> no 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 i think i was casted once you were confirmed maybe probably so i when i only did zoom and met the producers it was like oh you know, I'm, I haven't got it. And then yeah. I just get a call and it was like, oh, you're in. You know, you have, I don't know, a month until you fly out and meet the love of your life. So you found out that you were going on the show in November? No, like, end, uh, like, end, <coughs> as, no, I, I promise, like, in, end of November. So I didn't actually find out that I was officially going on the show till like January. It is the 4th of January and I'm literally going on Love Island UK next week. Oh, really? Yeah, like it was... What, did you literally so, get the phone call and it was like, pack your bags, you're leaving in a couple <laughs> of days? Pretty much, nah. So I got... My producer from Love Island Australia told me that Love Island UK are interested in me right at the end of October. Then I had a call mid-November, didn't really hear anything. I wasn't fussed though, because I'm not going to lie. Last year, I was so content with where I was at my life. Like, I actually almost Jessie didn't tells go me, on the show. Jesse tells <laughs> me all the time how good life was before the villa. <laughs> In the yeah. sun, on the beach in Australia, and I've got her here. As you can see, we're doing this <laughs> video on the here. farm I in love mud. It here. We've got our wellies on. Wellies. Look. It's actually so muddy. I know. Yeah, so I had my first few calls, and then because I was from overseas, they had to do like police checks on me, we had to do all the medicals, but it was really difficult to get all my information from Australia to the UK. Like, so did it you was do such an effort. I would find that so difficult having to Zoom like the, with the producers. I just think Everything it, was on Zoom, and... I think it's so easy talking like face to face rather than zoom or something like that so that yeah. must have been difficult all the zoom calls were done at like 10 11 12 p.m oh at my night because yeah. the time yeah. zones it was so hard and i kept having to like say to the producers like oh sorry i've got something on because they'd want to have like a zoom call at like 10 p.m or midnight on a friday night yeah and i was like i honestly just couldn't be asked <laughs> she met the love of and my yes, life and yes that's so true let's be real i went on love island australia a few years ago and it was really fun like honestly so much fun i'm not gonna say no to an opportunity like that however i was just like can i really be fussed and i just wanted to chill and tazzy with my family yeah. and i have like a baby sister so this time last year she was two and a half now she's three and a half but like when you miss out on like a year of a baby's life, it's so much. And I was like, Little Stella, Little Stella. Yeah. So the Jessie actually has a video which she showed me before, and it was a, it's a filmed of her before going into the villa, being like, "Oh, I don't want to go in." I was like, "No, I feel like I have to go." I really felt like I didn't want to go. She was gonna find a boyfriend. That's the words I was looking yeah. for. She's gonna find a boyfriend. I she absolutely did. <laughs> 
And I know it's probably naive and dumb of me to think that I might get a boyfriend on this show, but I actually truly believe I will. Like, I truly believe my boyfriend is going to be on here because everything fucking happens for a reason. You know, I might get to meet the love of my life and then go to the UK. In fact, I'm going to say I am going to meet the love of my life and go to the UK. I know, I was like, I actually have a feeling this is going to work out because last year, I'm not even kidding, my life, like, flipped. I had good karma last year. Everything just fell into place. Karma is a real thing. Yes. Karma is generally a real thing. Everything yeah, yeah, yeah. was falling into place last year, and I said to my friend, I turned 26, I was like, I'm getting boyfriend by the time Fooled I'm 27. In. Fooled into place <laughs> even better. I was way out of my comfort zone. Like, the, the, the interaction I get on the farm is just, it's with my dad. And obviously yeah. I, was on, I was on TikTok and that before, where I guess I could speak in front of, in front of camera, but getting chucked into a room full of random, randomers, like, yeah. on a dating show, was alien to me. When you actually think about the concept of Love Island, it's so weird and random. It Do you know is. what I mean? Chucking in, I don't know, 12 people <laughs> at the start and then like 20 or 30 bombshells trying to find love. But I generally believe Jesse was put in for me. Because if you go back to my first week, I didn't, I didn't have anyone. I was just, I was there. I was icky. Do you remember the clip with Olivia? Yeah. I was just generally a walking ick Aww. in there. Bash. No, but do you know what? I actually did say this, and I'm um, when I watched the things, I was like, oh, I felt really bad for you because you didn't get chosen, and you kept stepping forward for everyone. Oh, oh my Jesse. god, that's a fake. Roll the tapes. Actually, roll the tapes right now. I think I stood because I was actually complimenting everyone. Yes, you are. I'm a nice guy, but wasn't standing forward, right? So I was it's just like it's like saying like well I I was complimenting it. everyone I was being nice I perceived it as like you want because like no offense you were just standing there shouting compliments to everyone I was like oh he like wants someone to pick him oh my god I was being That's nice how I saw it. oh my god I was being no, nice no I thought everyone. it was sweet I did think that was sweet I was being nice I got showed like a seven minute clip and it had like the, that in it and it kept showing me all these things of will and I was like why are they showing me so many clips that of will? was actually rough for me um, I remember standing there just thinking I am actually a clown. Do you know, it's so nerve-wracking, but then, you know, stepping forward, complimenting everyone, but then, like, stepping forward and no one choosing you and choosing other people, it was just, like... And then, from that point onwards, I was like, I'm just going to have a good time. Yeah! Yeah! I'm not going to stress too much, you know, and just it's have fun. It's such a random concept, like, having someone to step forward for because Love Island Australia the boys came in and the girls had to step forward for the boys so it was oh, opposite yeah, yeah, yeah. so oh, I was horrible. standing in that bloody line and then the first guy in Love Island Australia picked me and like I honestly could you change I could if I wanted to but I was just oh. so happy someone chose me I was like okay yeah. done it's like in PE class when you're it getting is, chosen yeah, to awful. be in a footy team and I was chosen last no but do you know what? I, even I thought that was so cute and sweet when I watched it I was like oh my god I said to my chaperone I was like oh my god like I was trying to be sexy him. and cool yeah cute and sweet now nah, no cute and sweet, sweet. Were the vibe. cute and sweet is like my like I am like the biggest like oh my god person like if someone is arrogant or rude I just no, no, thank you. But when someone is like cute and sweet, I just like want to like pick you up and cuddle you. <laughs> and that's like what I wanted to do when I saw you. I was like, oh my god, so cute. I remember stood there. I was thinking in my head because I was mm. watching all of the other guys do it as well. I was like, do you go, do you go in for one kiss, two oh kisses? Oh my god, like playing in your head. Yeah, I was like, happens? do you give a do you give a hug? And then I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just awful. It was mm. awful. But I I think you get. All, all of the nerves. I don't know about you, but I got so nervous in that isolation period beforehand because, you know, you fly. I had to go out with a chaperone because I had no idea how to work airports. But then you're put into isolation into this, like, villa with your with your chaperone. No phone, can't can't talk, and you don't even know you're going in at this point. It's still a maybe. Yeah, they keep saying, like, they've got you there, ready to go in, but they're like, oh, you're not into your in. And that's true. There have been people that have flown out to go on Love Island and they've waited in cast holding for two weeks and they've been flown home. That actually happened to people on our season. I actually really enjoyed my isolation period. I was going for swims, going for runs, having a good time. Um, but the longer, like the, the start's really fun. And then as I guess, show day gets gets on the horizon. I'm like, yeah. uh, do you know what I mean? It was, I was terrified. I don't know how, how long were you in your, your cast period for? Uh, I think I left the 7th of Jan. And then when did you come in? A week. So it's oh, probably the same amount of time as you. Yeah, yeah, sound. Jesse definitely was putting for me. <laughs> so I was up for elimination. They were going to, um, oh my God, I actually did see a snippet of that too about you being up for elimination. So I didn't even know you were mm. going to be in the villa when I was like coming in. And then you thought, oh, there's no point going in then. Look, no, then my I, life then isn't I, there. Then I got in the villa and like the first day it took me hours to speak to you. I didn't even really, did you pull me for a chat or did I pull you? 
I didn't take hours. Yeah, dude, it was in the evening. Okay, I'll let you lead the way. Hey. This is Farmer Will's big moment with Jesse. Go on, Will. Yeah, but we didn't, because you came in the afternoon. Yeah, so we then didn't it all, talk. Yeah, because it all split for lunch. No, then... I spoke to Harrison. Harrison? Harris before you. Was it? Yeah, I was with Oh, Harry yeah, yeah, yeah. Ages, Actually, that's no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, biding time. I, was I wanted nervous. to speak to you, but I was scared, so I just didn't. And do you know what was worse for me, being in there? Because none of the girls went for me and I wasn't in a relationship, everyone was, like, trying to give me advice and trying to, like, how to talk. And I was just like... You know when you don't want to hear something? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to hear it. I'll talk, I'll talk. And it was almost building up my nerves, even before speaking to Jesse, because everyone was like, oh, you need to do this, or don't be silly, don't be icky. And it was just like, oh, just shut up! <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just, and then, but we had a really, really lovely, yeah. lovely I do first remember year. earlier, so when I first came in, and the boys and the girls were like all separate, and I was standing at this table before we went and sat in the pool. I remember like they said, where are you from? I was like, Tasmania or whatever. And, um, like said something about country and he's like we was like I've got shaved like you said it from across the table and like you're actually really tall but they in the are. villa I was standing next to like Kai and Tom and you look so little and I kept oh seeing your head pop around like this oh and I was God. just like he's so cute and like I just felt like we were on the same level yeah the first chat was nice it was nice it was, it was nice. cute it was actually really wholesome and cute you know we were just chatting away and it was really really nice um it was kind of like one of those chats where he, I kind of like forgot everyone. But like, I am the type of person that just thinks if things go well at the start, it's going to be tainted, something bad's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? So I was just so scared. Yes, yeah, same. same, same, same. Even before going into the villa, I know I did Love Island Australia. You don't understand how nervous I was to go into this villa. I felt like I'm not from this country. I was like, I don't have things to that relate been to. So, that would have been it so was. bad, wouldn't it? Like a completely different. And I yeah. guess because. Because that happened actually in the villa to you, because you were on Love Island before, you had an expectation that you're knowing what you're doing, and then also people were just not nice because of that, yeah. because of that factor. And when I like came in, I didn't want to tell anyone that I'd done Love Island Australia, just because yeah. I didn't want to find anyone that was a bit clouty or anything like that. Like I literally just wanted to be like people to take me for me. I don't want to be Jesse from Love Island Australia. I just wanted to be Jesse and someone to hey, like me Jessie, for me. But then like I tried to be like day. modest and like not you know just chill and then everyone used that against me i was like oh my god you yeah. cannot win but then at the end of the day i'm like if there are people that are going to judge me like that and just be negative you're actually not people i need in my life so don't need anyone it's literally just me and jj all the time i was so nervous when you came into the villa because <laughs> It's, I generally did really like you from the start, and then it was just on top of that because nothing else had worked out. Not that I wanted it to work out, but you know, it's just like a confidence boost. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, sort of thing. I was just so nervous when we were like talking to you, if I said the wrong thing, what would happen? But we went on our first date, like... I think it was the second day of me being in the villa. Second day? Me and Tom. Yeah. <laughs> The texts are so funny. Yeah. <laughs> the texts are actually so funny when they come through. So it's, you don't really have your phone on you. Um, and then kind of like the producers will be like, oh, get your, get your phones. Make sure you've got your phone yeah, on you. Yeah, make sure you've got your phone or they'll go and hand them out. So we were all like sat there like, oh, so, no, something's coming. <laughs> then everyone side of goes quiet and just, you almost just waiting. wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like <laughs> waiting, waiting for this text. And yeah, then I got my text for my first day. You were like the only person I'd really spoken to. Oh, it's <laughs> not for my looks or charm it's just because i spoke to jesse first no Cha -ching! <laughs> i didn't did like it? the other girls but because it was love island it was like you almost feel like oh i have to go and try and flirt and talk to him and yeah. get in a couple sort of thing and i feel like be to be honest like we both went on strong for each other but you were like really strong come on so then i was like oh my god is he just like doesn't actually like me because he doesn't know me i didn't know i came on if strong if i was your type or anything i came on strong oh my god on that first day you tried to kiss me <laughs> that wasn't it. Not on it was camera. Off yeah, exactly. That's even worse. <laughs> Trying to kiss me off camera on the first date. How sexy was that then? Oh, 10 out of 10. So then I was like, oh. Just a cheeky one. I just didn't know the vibes. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, it's I feel just like. Just a cheeky one. It, it took me a lot to settle in. Like, I, I don't know what got over me with that. That's so funny. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. And, and obviously, I'm... Jesse pied me. But then we did get the kiss um, the next day in the challenge.
Unbelievable. So that's why everyone was so excited about when we actually did kiss. Oh my God, that was, <laughs> I felt 10 years old when that happened. The greatest night of my life. I felt, do you remember when we were like kissing and then everyone started going, woo. <laughs> I just wanted to kiss, you know, enjoy the kiss, but I couldn't. No, but the kiss in the challenge did let me know that I was like sexually into you because I wasn't sure if we were like friends. Because when I first came into the villa. Oh, Jesse said I gave her a friendly hug. Yeah, like, you did. Please explain <laughs> how you give someone a friendly hug. Oh my god! Before, roll like, the tapes! Roll the tapes! Like, yeah, come here! Oh my god, like, roll, did your thing. Roll, Pretty big. roll the tapes! Like, came, roll I the tapes, roll the tapes, roll the tapes, because I watched that video on TikTok the other day and it wasn't, and I showed you. Okay. We'll roll the tapes. I and don't then know if it's that hard. Okay, everyone in the it comments. Gave friends, uh, let, everyone let it me gave know. gave friend vibes. Let me, I wasn't oh. sure if I was just a friend. Let, let me know in the comments whether you think it is a friendly hug or not, because I generally don't think it is, and Jesse does. Anyways, when we kissed in that first challenge, that is when I realised I was actually sexually attracted to you because I thought you were lovely, I thought you were attractive, but then you know when you like kiss someone, you're like, oh, okay, like, I really like this person. <laughs> Because like, Tingles. <laughs> when I came into the villa, I feel like the girls were a little bit like not as keen to be my friends. Oh god, it does when you when you actually think about it. So this is the first time we've actually like reminisced and thought about Love Island. We yeah. kind of like. I had to walk into that villa with like a big group of girls, and then everyone was like, "Oh, she's from Love Island, Australia," but she's not saying anything. And I was like, "Guys, I'm just trying to like." So how did it normal. come out? How did people know you were from Love Island? Oh, I oh Aaron, was it Aaron? Was yeah, it Aaron? Aaron, Aaron said, and if people asked, I said, yeah. No, because you know what was happening? Everyone was coming and saying, Will's like by the public, Jesse's just using you. And then it was like, what the fuck am I? Like, I'm not a piece of dirt. Yeah, sorry. And I actually was just getting treated by, just, like, I actually can't even talk about it. <sighs> I actually did go into that villa and put my whole heart on the line. Ugh, drink my cream, bro. Have you ever felt like you're not good enough? <laughs> Because that's how I feel. And it was just like, like, I don't, maybe I'm a bit of a sook, but like, I just. You're not a sook. I am. It ruined a little bit of my confidence. Mm. That's okay. One of them man of snakes. <laughs> no, <laughs> One well. of them man of snakes. He says that is a joke. You know when you just want to call your parents and have like a hug or something? Or even just escape. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, go for a walk or just get out of the environment so no one can. Because the worst thing, you know when you're sad? and someone comes up to you or you're down. Are you all right? No, I don't want to talk yeah. about it. I just want to be left on my own with no one else. Just leave me alone. Yes, it's having that like Aussie there with you who who, who was the friend. I felt so left there. out. Everyone was talking about where they're from all the time. Talking about I like, had that. I had that. Yeah. I'm not into foot, <laughs> <laughs> not as bad as Jesse, I'm gonna say. <laughs> no, 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 but yeah. But at the start, when the boys were getting to know each other, at, like, because obviously you eat, at a table, it's not filmed, you're not on camera, the girls and boys are separate, but we were having lunch and everyone was just like on football chat. Yeah. I don't watch footy! <laughs> and I would, honestly, I sat there for like the first three days just yamming, <laughs> yamming my dinner, not knowing. No, so what I would do, was. when it was lunch and dinner time, they bring out tables and separate the boys and the girls. So I would um, go and wash the dishes, so I could like talk to the boys, because the kitchen sink was where the boys sat. So the whole time for lunch, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we would sit in the kitchen and we'd just like be like, hey, like waving to each other, going like that. And, each other. <laughs> and then the producers would go, Jesse and Will, step away from yeah. each other. We had each other, and I would not have survived, obviously survived without no, you in there. Like a hundred percent, like mentally, like right from the start, you showed me around. He showed me around the villa. You. Gave me if you lot need any food, tips trying to flirt with a girl, <laughs> just let me know. We were best friends from the start, which was nice. Yeah, hundred percent, and it was like. I was so fortunate to come off the show with you. Um, when did you decide, oh yeah, I'm going to come back to the UK? Because I felt like we were having conversations, but you didn't seem like, I was like, oh, look, I want to bring you to the farm. <laughs> you, you know, I want to let meet my family. But I didn't think That's in the villa, you were that keen. I've been like a bit scared here and there, but... Have you? What are you being scared about? I don't know. Like, I feel it was so maybe, like... I don't know, I just, oh. I really love you and I just want things to go really right when we go you. out and I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm closed, I have my walls up. So when you were saying, do you want to come back to the UK? In my head, I was like, yes, 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 yes. But then I was like, I'm not going to invite myself back to the UK. I was like, I'll go to the UK if he takes action. I've literally got Jessie <laughs> trapped here on the farm. This is her house, her passport <laughs> taken away. <laughs> As well, like a lot of front of mind was like, you were like a TikToker or whatever. Everyone was coming to say that. Renegade, renegade. 
And like, I'm gonna be honest, what do you think of a guy on social media? Player! Jessie like almost set me up, well put me to the test when we came off the show because she thought I was gonna go out partying, living it up, <laughs> giving it, giving it lol. I was like, mm. in a like, friendly way, I was yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna go have a girls weekend, you should go see the boys, it'll be good for you. Like, and no. Will was like, ain't like, no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> This is what you said. I, I was said, like, you can, babe. I'll be in my way. head, I, in my head, I was like, if something is going to happen again, like, yeah. get it out of the way. Go and do it right now. Don't do, do you know what I mean? Like, so go do it. Yeah. And then, obviously, once we came out of the villa, even in the villa, like, I, I felt like that was so out of character for you. I really didn't oh, think that was... Do you know what? I've seen clips and I don't like watching them and things like that. And it's just mm -hmm. not, it's just not me. It's way out of character. And it, yeah. I can't generally believe that I did it to Jesse. And no, I'm it's so, chill. so, it's so chill. like I crumbled in that villa because I thought, you know, when Jesse came back and we weren't talking, I thought, oh my God, I've lost this girl. Um, I was like crying in a shower. So the outside shower during lunchtime and stuff, I used mm. to sit down and cry and it was just see, like... I didn't see you because I was like hiding inside. Because like with it... I we was, were hiding from each other. I was like, with, even with the producers myself, I was like, look, if I'm not going to get Jesse back. I'm not, I'm not staying in this villa. Obviously we do love each other. I think that's where I had the most conflict because I was like, I want to leave. But then I was also like, um... Oh, I really love this guy. And I'm like, oh, that's going to suck so much having to leave someone you love. Because yeah. it almost is like such a weird scenario and obviously everything and is it's filmed, hard to think back on but i do think this might be like a reason that a lot of like a reason that a lot of love <laughs> that a lot of love island couples like don't really last everything's yeah. filmed so even when you know you don't want to think about it pop up on your for you page on tiktok or instagram or something so you do you do just see it you stayed one night after the villa in a hotel and you know what the first thing i said because all of my friends and, and, and family came to me as so I got in the car with my parents and the first thing my dad said is why is Jesse not here? Not even <laughs> how are you? Oh, I've missed you son. This is a great experience. Why is Jesse not coming back with you? And I was like no, he wanted to talk to me. Um, and that was the first and you know when my dad said that that's kind of like the first message I sent Jesse. It, it was I miss you. Yeah it was really cute because you know what when I went with back to the hotel face. I was like oh my god I'm in the in a hotel in the UK like obviously I didn't go back to your house so I was like or imagine if it is just a player. Player! And then, you know, coming off the show, and I guess while well, we're not really as close with the other islanders and things like that, but Jesse's Australian, I'm the UK. We really just wanted to focus on our relationship, so... Yeah, we the... missed each other so much when yeah. we spent that first night apart, and mm. we're little best friends. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna move in together. So if you want to move in together... Really? <laughs> So I picked Jesse up the next day and brought her back to the farm and we just... So I was lambing. I've got a lamb first day, baby. No, I will support you through lambing. It's just such a busy time of year, like honestly. Emotionally, mentally, physically, everything like that, Jesse supported me. Stay with me for the lambing time. I will. Will you? Yeah. I can make you lunch and like bring it out no. if you need. I came off the show and it was like 15, 16, 17 hour days. I didn't have time for anything. On top of that, interviews and everything like that coming off of Love Island. On top of that, we had our relationship. So we had so much stuff. So when kind of like lambing was over, it was like, oh, let's take some us time. Are we going to work? Because you could have just so easily gone, oh, like, we're together, but I'll go back to Australia and it fizzle out. I don't do that. I don't roll like that. If I'm ever going to commit to someone, I've had two boyfriends, other than them uh, well. Like, nice. I don't just... I don't just go for people because you know what that means? If you go for someone, it's not going to work out. You can have a breakup. Nobody likes breakups. I don't like breakups. I don't want to have another ex on my list. Oh my like, God, date I'm here to marry? Date. Yeah, date to marry. Oh my God, that's, I, so, I'm like date to marry. Me and Jesse, guarantee, I'll put it hands down, first YouTube um, app as well. We will get married. <laughs> yes, down. we both are the same, like married date to marry. Married kids. I'm not even going to lie. I'm, what's the word? One in a baby? Oh, I'm broody. I'm broody. In um, Australia, it's clucky. Like I'm clucky <laughs> or I'm broody. <laughs> but... Yeah, I really need that. a wee. Okay. Uh, also, it's starting to get it? dark. Few moments later. I can't believe we met, like, just quietly. Like, how the hell? It would have never happened. <gasps> but Jesse actually, I saw Jesse in one of Jesse's videos. You yeah. saw one of my TikToks. And Jesse saw one of mine. Eesh. <laughs> so we went back and stalked through each other, and I liked one of his TikToks. She was going to message me. Your TikTok came up in my For You page. I went to your page and realised, like, saw how young you were and heard your accent. Because I was actually in Australia when you came up. Right. So I was in Australia when his TikTok came up, and then I heard the accent. And I was like, oh, he's not Aussie, like, Loser. scrap it. And also, I, I scrolled, I was like, oh, he's very young. No, I'm not. Yeah, but you are. <laughs> but, like, you looked younger back then. You're my been... little cougar. Jesse's almost 30. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, I am. No shame in it. Eh. 
I feel like we've we've touched on quite a lot of things, but there, well, there's so much, isn't there? In the so much so to much, go for. It. So and much. As you can tell, we can like chit chat. I know that like we've probably touched on some like sadder time, not sadder time, but like I would guess more sensitive. Lower vibes yeah, more time. Sen- we wait for that to pass. Yeah. We have a sound interruption, so I'm just gonna have a quick zero. I feel like we have touched on some like more sensitive times in the villa but all in all it actually was such a fun experience we haven't really opened up about love island even on podcasts or anything like that we've kind of kept it to ourselves so but like i am so happy that we did go on it and everything worked out the way and this is like a lesson for everyone i know that there are tough times and stressful times and bits where you feel down but everything happens for a reason all the bad stuff makes you grow makes you grow yeah i'm getting inspiration like i just feel like everything happens for a reason and now look at where we are a year later it definitely (laughs) made I know, one He's year come later. to Australia as well. I love how we stuck to everything we said. We've got some really, really exciting stuff on the pipeline, which we will be th- filming for YouTube. So you're in for such a treat, <laughs> such a, such a treat. So just honestly get on board with this journey with us. But also it's getting really cold. It's, I don't know if you can tell, it's getting dark. We're literally sitting in the mud here really? on the plane. <laughs> Honestly, thank you so much for watching. We really do hope you've enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments because we would love to film another video for you. Oh, 100%. But stay tuned (laughs) on this channel. (laughs) Bye. Bye. Love you. (laughs) Bye. Like and subscribe. I can't, girl. Love you. Love you.